it's Melissa. In this video, I am going to show you how to use the Presto two-step uh, laser transfer paper. So this stuff is great. It's cutless, it's weedless transfers. You can use any laser printer. I am using my iColor 560, which is a white toner printer. But the awesome thing about this one is if you pull the black toner cartridge to the front and take out the white uh, toner cartridge, you can do this. So this, there's a couple of steps I'm gonna take you through from front to or from start to finish but why would you want to do this well like I said because it is cutless and weedless you can pick up really fine details on things that you otherwise might not be able to so you can do um, it comes in all different colors there's like 20 21 different colors but like look at something like this right so this has such really fine details on there that would be extremely difficult to not only cut cleanly but also weed cleanly okay so if you're looking it's monochrome right so it's it's a replacement essentially for uh, heat transfer vinyl but then you've got other things like look at these little tags right so this is to this and I know you can't see this but we're gonna go through the whole process something like that where you are almost never going to be able to cut and weed no matter what cutting machine you have that small now you can just print the design and apply the adhesive and then make these um, transfers with this Presto and it is awesome so let's get started like I said all of um, I'm using my iColor 560 but any laser printer will do I will put descriptions in the uh, I will put links in the description below so let's Let's get started. Okay, so I like to design everything in Silhouette Studio, and the great thing about printing to the laser, even the 560, um, which the rip is on a PC, but I can print from my Mac when I'm not using um, the white toner option. So um, what I'm gonna do is use Silhouette Studio, and I first need to go up to File, whoops, sorry, this is off the um, page here, but I need to go File, Print, Page Setup. That will pop up this box. And then I'm just going to set it to the printer that I'm using. So if you see Rico, um, or it might say iColor or Uninet, um, this is my different Uninet, but this is the Rico that I'm using. And then I'm gonna set it to the paper size, which I know is A4. So I'm just gonna change that and click OK. And then from the page setup panel, I will click A4. Now, if you're not familiar with Silhouette Studio, this is a free um, software that you can use and print to pretty much any printer that you have. I don't even need an upgraded version of the software um, to, to do this, so this is, this is awesome. So then I'm gonna click Show Print Border, which is just going to ensure that everything um, that I put in this space is inside the correct area. And then I'm just going to, I have my design all set up. So this is the design um, that I'm going to use. Now, what you can see, it's, it's large, obviously. I need to make it smaller. Um, so I'm just gonna size that down, all right? And the most important thing is that the entire design needs to be black. So my design is already black, but if you don't have your design black, let's say it's red for whatever reason, um, you can make it black. Whoops, I need to change that back. Okay, so now mine's black. The other thing that you need to do is you need to mirror the, uh, the design because it's gonna print in reverse. So I'm gonna right click and do flip horizontally and then I'm actually just going to rotate this design 90 degrees because I think I can fit a little bit more now what I am going to do is fill the entire page with this design so I will just open the uh, fill option or the replicate panel here and there's a option here for fill page so it takes a second it will put the same design all over the entire page now a couple things you want to be careful of you want to make sure that everything is contained within your print area which you can see this is all right and i have i don't know how many are here let's see one five rows of one two so so 30 on a sheet here which is great all right now i'm ready to print so i can just click the print option here and then I need to again select my printer. So mine is the Rico. I don't have it connected, but you'll obviously have yours connected. And then once you do that, don't print quite yet. You wanna go to uh, paper feed and I never let it auto select anything if I can prevent that. So I'm going to use the bypass tray and okay, just, okay, that's fine, <laughs> that little error. And then I'm gonna do printer features and it's gonna ask me the media type. So I know for the Presto that I wanna pick this thick one, 91 to 105 grams. So I'm gonna pick that and then I'm gonna click print. Before I click print, I obviously wanna make sure that I have a piece of the Presto, um, 
I want to make sure that I have a piece of the Presto material in my printer. So you want to put it with the print side face down. Okay, make sure, if, and again, I'm using bypass here, and now as you can see, I can pr click print directly from Silhouette Studio, and this will print. Now, it's going to take a second, but when it comes up on the top of the printer, once the paper is pulled through, it's going to look like nothing happened. Don't worry, it prints on the underside and it's going to print solid black. Even though we want a white transfer, the black is, the, is what is going to attract the adhesive. And so whatever we want printed, no matter what color, we are going to print in black. Once this is printed, then we are going to make sure that our heat press is heated up to 285 degrees. Okay, once it gets to temperature, you wanna close your press and for five minutes, let the hot top platen sit on the bottom platen. Five minutes. You want the bottom and the top platen to both be heated up. Then what you're gonna do is you are then able to um, obviously open up your press and you're gonna take that printed sheet that you printed, you can see it's mine's hot, you're gonna place your printed sheet directly onto the bottom platen with the printed side face up. You're gonna take the B sheet, that's the sheet that has the yellow grid, place it directly over top, and then this set, this set of Presto um, papers comes with a transfer sheet, or not a transfer sheet, a cover sheet, just a thin craft paper, and you'll put that in there. You're gonna close the press again, and now for 120 seconds, let this sit on there. So once it's done, then your transfers are done. So what you need to do is very, very carefully, and I would suggest from one of the corners, peel back. Before you do that, take some kind of cloth, like a t-shirt or um, a pillowcase, and just rub the transfer. You're just making sure, you're just taking a little heat out, you're making sure that it gets a nice, good, um, solid, uh, what we call Mary. So then from one of the corners, peel back slowly and what you're going to see is that the black is now covered and you can see coming off that adhesive sheet the adhesive has been removed only in the areas of the black toner now our transfers are complete so what i can do at this point um, and i'll give you a closer up view here but what i can do at this point is these white transfers can now be completely cut apart you don't need to apply them right away i will tell you because I'm going to cut mine apart and I'm gonna, you know, like I said, this is perfect if you've got, you know, small tags or things like that, that um, again, you just cu cutless weedless. So you saw, I didn't need to cut or weed anything and my transfers are completely ready. Now, I'm gonna put this on um, a gray shirt and a black shirt. I'm gonna put this on the tag. I find the easiest way to do tag, collar tags like this is to flip the shirt inside out. You will probably wanna put, um, you will probably want to put some type of pressing pillow inside there just because of the color of the shirt can make it a little bit challenging and you want to obviously get a really good press on there. So if you need to, like I did, throw a pressing pillow in and then place the transfer directly on top. You can tape it down with high temperature tape if you want. Cover again. I've got to reduce the pressure here. It was a little bit too much pressure now with the pressing pillow. And then you're going to press for about 30 seconds. I'm still at 285. So these can go on cotton blends, they can go on polyester. Um, I will tell you that 285, 265 um, is a good temperature. So once those are done, you are going to open up the press. Now, this takes, the, these are cold peel, and if you don't wait for them to um, completely cool, you will lose part of the detail. So take it off the press and wait for about five minutes you can see it's it's stuck on there now. So wait for about five minutes before you peel off the transfer. And then again, when you go to peel off the transfer, now what you can see, go slowly. I did lose a couple teeny, teeny details, but look how small that is. There is absolutely no way you would be able to print, um, or excuse me, be able to cut and weed that. You would definitely lose um, more. So obviously I'm putting these on dark shirts because the transfers themselves are white, but the pack comes with a bunch of different colors. Um, I just love this Presto stuff. I love that you can use it with any toner print or any laser printer. Again, my iColor 560 can do dozens of different processes on for garments, on paper, stickers, um, lots of different things. But um, if you're interested, all of the uh, links are in the description below. If you've got questions, feel free to leave comments. Um, if you're looking for the best bundles on the iColor 560 or this Presto paper, I've got I've got links for that too. 
See you guys.